Hello friends, welcome to AIKTC Blended Learning and Quiz on Python. So the first topic we shall be learning is basics of Python. Under basics of Python, we'll be seeing what is Python, then operators and variables in Python, conditional statements, comments, and finally applications of Python. So what is Python? Friends, Python is an open source programming language, which is interpreted, object oriented, and general purpose. So in short, a Python is a general purpose, interpreted, object oriented, and open source programming language. So when you will be learning Python, the first thing comes into the mind is a resource to learn Python from. So the best resource online available to learn Python is python.org. So this is a portal which is maintained by the Python community and it has everything for Python. You can download the interpreter for the Python. You can go for the documentation where you will find the entire tutorial on different aspects of the programming language and so many things. So the latest version of Python is, you can see over here, Python 3.8.3. Depending upon your platform, you can download and install a Python. I recommend that you should install minimal Python 3.0 or any higher version. Then the second good resource to start with is W3Schools. So on W3Schools, you can go to Python programming language and there you will be seeing a lot of stuff on Python where you can easily learn the programming language. Now, let's assume that you have got uh, Python installed on your machine. So the next thing you need to do is start your uh, command prompt or shell, depending upon your operating system. And then on your shell, you need to give the command Python when the Python is already installed on your machine. So the first thing comes to you is the Python version which is installed on your machine. And then you are welcomed with this Python prompt. We call it Python interpreter or the Python, uh, Python shell. And then here you can practice all the different constructs of the Python programming language. So let's see that I have one variable i. So I initialize the variable i to a value 10. So i equals to 10. So now if I want to see the value of this variable, I can simply write i and I get the value. Another way is to make use of a print function of the Python programming language. So print and then in parenthesis, the name of the variable i. So it will give us the value of i, that is 10. Now friends, this i is a variable. Now one thing may come into your mind that we have not declared a variable, but instead we are directly using it. So that's the beauty of the Python programming language. A Python is a very expressive programming language. Here the programmer need not have to specify the type of a variable. Instead, you directly initialize the variable. Now, depending upon the type of a data which you are storing into the variable, Python automatically sets its type. So, for example, if I want to see the type of this variable, I have a function in Python called type. So, I can simply type in type and in parenthesis the name of the object or the variable whose type I want to know. So the output is int. So here you can see that the type of i is int. Now I can initialize the same variable i to another type of value, say 10.5. Now if we check the type of i, then it says float. Likewise, I can set the same variable to a different type of value. Say i equals to, in single code, whatever I am specifying is a string. So now if I type the type of i, so it will be str, that is string. So here you can see that uh, the same variable name is getting used for different type of data and the earlier one goes and it is automatically collected and cleared by Python interpreter. And there is one more function in Python called id, which is used to check the address of a given object of a, or the variable. So please see here carefully. Here you can see the address of this i, 51640576. Now if I change the content of i or rather the type of content of i, now here i was containing, i is containing aiktc which is a string. Now if I set i to a integer value say 100 and now if we check the address of i, so it has been changed. 
So the same variable i but now at a different location. So basically it is altogether different variable but only the name remains same. Uh, rather th that earlier name has been removed you can say and now this name is having a content 100. Uh, interestingly, if I say j equals to uh, another variable with the same content 100 and if I check the address of j, please see carefully, interestingly you have the same address. So it means that to a same address, to a same memory location, now these two variables are pointing to because they have the same data, that is 100 and 100. If I got one more variable, say k, with a different data, say 99. And if I check what is the address of k, so the address is now different. This was 720, 720, the end, and here it is 704. So uh, Python very smartly manages a memory. And uh, this we'll be seeing a lot when we'll be studying uh, the different types of data structures. Now in Python, you can perform uh, almost all arithmetic operations, all assignment operations and so on. So many, many different types of operators are supported into Python. So for example, if I say i plus k, so we'll be getting 199. And suppose uh, you got two strings, co and then uh, s1 equals to AIKTC and if I say S2 equals to S plus S1 and if I display the content of S2, so this is concatenation. So the same plus operator when it is used with strings, it uh, concatenates the string and if it is used with numerical data, then it adds. So you have addition, subtraction, multiplication. So all those things you can refer this uh, W3Schools and here if you go to operators, so here you have all the different types of operators, arithmetic operators and so on, sorry for that. So different types of operators are uh, specified over there. You can go through it. You have arithmetic operators, you have bitwise operators, you have relational operators where you can uh, check the relation between the values or between the variables. So, for example, uh, uh, if uh, i is 10 and j is 11, so I can check for the equality whether i double equals j. So, the answer is false. They are not equal. And if I check for whether i is greater than j, so the answer is still false. If I say i is less than j, the answer is true. So, this way you can compare the values. And uh, you can uh, combine the conditions i less than j, which is true. And uh, I want to check the value of k also, whether i is uh, less than k also. Sorry, i is less than k. So yes, it is true because the value of k is 99. The value of i is 10. So i is less than j and at the same time i is also less than k so it is true. If I change it then it is false because this is the end operator. So it will be ending out uh, the output of these two expressions. So if any of the value is false the output is false. So there are different types of uh, operators which we have into uh, Python programming language and then uh, we have something called as comment in uh, Python. Now to have a single line comment, uh, you have hash. So hash is preceded by a single line comment. So you can specify any single line comment in a Python script with the help of hash. So these comments are something which are simply ignored by Python interpreter. The Python interpreter will not consider or will not try to interpret uh, whatever is specified as a comment. So the single line comment is given with the help of hash, hash and then your comment follows. And then for the multi-line comment, you can make use of a multi-line constant string in triple quotes. So either you can go for the single triple quote and then whatever the comment you want to have, a multi-line comment you can put in and then against triple quotes. So this way you have a multi-line comment in uh, python or you can go for the double triple quotes so 
So this way you can have multi-line comments. Comments are basically used to improve the readability of a program. When you write some program and you, your program is going to be read by, understood by another programmer. So what we do, we try to uh, document the program properly with the help of these comments. So with the help of this documentation, another programmer can easily understand or read the code. So basically your comments improve the readability of the program. I repeat, comments improve the readability of a program. Then uh, the last part uh, of the topic is, uh, sorry, the second last part of the topic is conditional statement. Now conditional statement in Python, generally we have if else. So the if statement uh, followed by the condition which you want to have, which we have seen earlier, which we have seen earlier. So I less than J colon, colon has to be put because we are going to have a block and this block is specified with the help of some spaces. So we'll be having cap space by default. Print, yes. You can also have else, colon, print, no. So the output is yes because i is less than j. Now the way we were uh, combining multiple expressions or multiple statements using uh, and or or operator, the same way we can do inside the if statement. So this way you can make use of if statement. So if the condition is true, this block would be executed, else this block would be executed. Now you can make use of simply if statement without else that is also possible or you can combine the two. If you want to do something when a condition is satisfied and uh, you want to do something when the condition is not satisfied. And if you want to do something only for the condition to be satisfied or not to be satisfied, then you can only make use of a if statement without a else part. Now getting to the last uh, point of the topic that is applications of uh, Python. So dear friends, Python has got a wide applications into the IT industry, uh, it has got uh, its applications uh, into data science, it has got its applications into web development, into general purpose software development and so on. But the major applications of Python are machine learning, game development and uh, web development. So basically these are the three or four major uh, applications of uh, Python. Uh, rest, uh, nowadays Python is almost used everywhere. So thank you, thank you for being with us for the first uh, topic and we'll meet in the second topic. Thank you very much.